Okay, I'm using the Sky Watcher 120ED Upper Chronotic Telescope and the BST Star Guider to look at the planet Saturn. Beautiful view. It's not yet edge on. You can see some of the curvature on the top and lower part, but it's very, very thin at the moment. Maybe next year it will be as thin as you know it can get. So 30 years ago I saw it like that through a quest star, uh, a three inch one. That was amazing and now I can see it again like that. I think that was 1994, yeah, 1995 probably. Oh, that was amazing. Now we are back. That takes 29, 30 years for the Saturn to make a, a orbit around the sun. This eyepiece is amazing. BST Sargider 8mm. And that is the moon. And what you see at the center now is the planet Saturn. Let's zoom on this probably. Yeah. And that's the moon. One night before the full moon. So, how does Saturn look like? Well, it's round and it's got little things on it. I saw the moon. Mm -hmm. And you saw the moons around it? Mm. Yeah. Well, no, because, yeah, definitely one with the moon. That was amazing. Yeah, Very clear, crisp. This is, of course, uh, I have now used the Nagler mm. five uh, millimeter type six. I just see it as a tiny, just in a pin head from here. And yet, and it had a ring, <laughs> which is almost uh, near edge on, as you call it, wings. <laughs> I'm not surprised that Galileo and others described it in that way. It has handles, they were saying, or it has ears. All these names exist in the historical accounts of the observation of Saturn. So for you it has wings. Oh, wow. I'm using the Nirvana 4mm and the details I can see on this is better than the Nagler 5mm. I can see the actual ring of the planet Saturn in front of it. Also some details on the uh, actual uh, disk of the planet, face of the planet. And also the gap between the ring and the, the I mean, the gap between the ring and the planet. Yeah, it's visible and it's so clear, sharp. I think this is an exceptional view and I think that this 4mm Nirvana 82 degrees shows here its merits on the Saturn at this time. Amazing. And despite that uh, the light is on in the, you know, in the porch, so I have a little bit, you know, my own light, but that's actually is contributing to the visibility better. The planet Saturn, the ring of it is so delicate and the line of it is so sharp. I always try to draw that, the shape of it, even with the sharpest pencils, I could not actually do this. It's beyond belief how delicate and how 
beautiful and you know the line of it is so amazing oh that is amazing and unfortunately i don't think any photo actually can show the beauty of it unless you use you know the stacking techniques and other things photographs or imaging in modern terms electronic imaging especially with the mobile phone that everybody has, cannot show the details the human eye can recognize i tried it and i think that's one of the better photographs uh, with this near one of four millimeter and this mobile phone I'm using is a whole way. Amazing. Oh, I cannot believe. With the two times Celestron Barlow and the four millimeter Nirvana, I can actually see more clear. The sky is so clear tonight. So the focal length of this telescope is 450 and my magnification is equal to a 2 millimeter eyepiece. So practically 900 divided by 2, 2 millimeters, 900 millimeter divided by 2 millimeters, 450. Only with a refractor you can do such a magnification. <laughs> That's amazing. And yet I can see the details. With this setup, the details I can see is comparable to the best views from the Leak Observatory 90 uh, centimeter, 900 millimeter uh, refractor. Amazing, I can see with this setup, 450 times magnification, so many details on the disk of the planet on the face of the planet i should say and all the on the ring and the i mean the gap between the ring and the planet amazing i can see all four solar satellites also easier visible in the photographs amazing Now we had such a high magnification. Tonight is really exceptional clear night. Ooh, amazing view of the planet with a 10 millimeter Pentax XW and uh, Celestron 2 times Barlow. Well, Celestron Ultima 2 times Barlow. Amazing view. Beautiful. Okay, I'm using Teleview Plus or 15 millimeter with the Celestron 2 times Barlow Ultima, and the view is very good actually. I have compared this 15 millimeter with a 15 millimeter meat and 15 millimeter meat was very similar to this so that must have been a really good eyepiece also and I may just put now this is it is equal now to seven and a half millimeter so if I use a, a seven and a half millimeter Takashi LE let's see how is the view this is with the Takashi LE of course visually is different from what you see in the, the view here to the telescope and the camera. Seven and a half millimeter Takashi L is a tad sharper, one epsilon sharper than the um, Teleview 15 millimeter Barlot. So I can see the shadow in both of them, but in this one, it comes easier into focus, quicker, and the view is excellent. And uh, yeah, Takashi L E, an epsilon sharper. Visually, of course. Is much better than what you can see in the camera. The borrowed view of the Takashi 7.5mm with the two times the 
Celestron and Ultima two times Barlow. Amazing. Uh, I can say it's equal to the four millimeter uh, Nirvana. I think one of the reasons that uh, I can get such a sharp view, 450, I went to two millimeter down uh, for a focal length uh, Barlow image is because there is a thin layer of haze in the sky. You know that if you observe the planet Mars, you know that in the morning when it is a little bit, you know, light polluted, a little bit cloud, a little bit uh, twilight, you actually can have the best views of this uh, Mars. And probably this is a true, uh, this is valid also for the observing of the Saturn or any, uh, you know, large planetary body with a good size angular diameter in the sky. This is around, I think, Saturn is now around 19 uh, seconds of arc. So quite large. Very, very large, quite, quite large for a planet. Uh, stars practically a pinhead. My theory is that because of the my cat is on my knee and it's a stair tap, you can jump to my knee. I have the best views of the planet <laughs> Mars. It can be a valid proposition, I suppose. <laughs> Baz. <laughs> Baz, do you want to see the planet more? Saturn also. Oh.